We're going to get started with an opening statement from head coach Neil Ivey. So, coach, go right ahead. Well, this one is really, really special. Obviously, going to the Sweet 16 with this group, this is a special group. So, all glory to God, number one. I mean, this is, we've been through a lot. We've been through a lot this season. We've had a lot of highs and lows, a lot of adversity. And to see this group just find a way to come together, to persevere through all of our adversity is, is something special. I'm so grateful to be a part of this. So thankful for the fans. I'm so thankful. It's 2 o'clock, I know. Um, and we still had an amazing crowd. I mean, the last six weeks have just been magical with this group. The way that we're coming together, um, being able to accomplish, going back to the third consecutive Sweet 16, which is not easy, is just phenomenal. So I'm so grateful, so blessed. Um, and again, the big three, they really showed out today. We had um, Maddie Westbell led us with 20 points, Hannah with 19, seven for nine in the free throw line, and Sonia double-double, 17 points, 10 rebounds, and the last game, 29 points with a career high. Um, credit to the, everybody on the team. Our zone was fantastic. Nat played with such poise. Her presence was amazing. Um, KK, AD, ev everyone contributed. Everyone got in the game, and which, it was just awesome. You know, I'm just so grateful, like I said. Thank you, Irish fans. Thank you, South Bend, for really showing up for us and showing up for women's basketball. Excited to dance, um, excited to go to Albany, and again, super grateful. We'll now open it up to questions for student athletes, Maddie Westbelt and Hannah Hidalgo. Eric Hansen, Inside ND Sports. <laughs> Maddie, um, the other day you kind of mentioned in passing about the team meeting after the NC State loss, and now it's 10 straight wins. So now I'm really curious, what was the magic words in that team meeting that you said? And what did you say to your team today before you took the floor? Uh, we just needed to make sure we were all on the same page. Um, you know, we know what this name on our chest means. Um, and I think we just needed like a reminder of what that was. Um, you know, uh, you know, it's just, it's grit, it's toughness. Um, it's the little things that we need to do. And it started with practice. And um, so it was just everybody, you know, being a little bit tougher in practice and um, just setting the tone. And I think we all just got on the same page since then. And, you know, it took everybody from top to bottom. Um, and before this game, I think it was just kind of same thing, lock into to what we have and keep each other accountable, um, especially on the defensive end. So I think we did that to start the game. And then Hannah, Coach uh, McPhee McEwen said, there's something about Hannah that it's not something you teach, it's what's inside of her. Um, I wonder wh what is that drive that's inside of you? Can you describe it? What makes you so relentless? What pushes me? Um, Jesus Christ. Um, you know, everything I do is to give glory to God. And so um, I go out and that's, you know, that's kind of what my fight is for. Obviously, of course, my family, too. But, you know, I, I fight for Christ. And, you know, that's the way I'm able to give my testimony is through basketball. And so I play with so much fierce because, uh, fireness because, you know, God has given me the ability to do so. And so that's what I go out and do. Kurt Rallo, Associated Press. Hannah, can you talk about uh, how you were able to set that tone uh, right away and how important it was to uh, be that aggressive? Yeah, um, I was just locked in on the scan. I think we all were. I mean, we came out with this, you know, mentality that we were going to go on a 10 0 run and, you know, we were just going to stop them from the jump. We know that we needed to, you know, hit them before they kind of hit us because they're a great team and, you know, they're really athletic. And so we were all just locked into the scout and everyone was locked in on defense. And so I was able to be more aggressive, you know. Jeffrey Clark, Fighting Irish Wire. Hannah, you've talked more than once this season. You just mentioned again how important your faith in God is mm -hmm. to being a basketball player and how your trust, how important your trust in God is. How much more important does that become as you get deeper and deeper into this tournament? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, you know, especially when it's getting, you know, it's, it's winter go home and we're getting so far in the tournament. It's like just having faith, you know, just putting our trust in God, even when, you know, all odds are against us with our injuries and, you know, being in foul trouble and not having so many players. Um, just, just having complete trust in God, and that's really all we can do. Just give it our all and just trust in Christ. And Maddie, you did a pretty good job on Madison Scott today. So now as you look ahead to Oregon State, they've got a pretty good big in Reagan Beer. So what do you expect mm -hmm. trying to stop her? Um, you know, we were kind of locked into Ole Miss, so I, we haven't really watched the film yet. Um, but I've been watching them during March Madness, and they look like a good team. Um, just like anybody, they're going to be really tough. So we just have to 
you know, trusting our scout, trusting our coaches to lead us there and um, just compete. Mm -hmm. I'm Addy, John Bryce. Um, you referenced a moment ago the team meeting and the grit and what it means for, for the name on the jersey. Anna today only had one rebound, but it was an offensive rebound, and then she mm -hmm. took it and, and scored. Maybe how much does she embody the grit? And did you notice that at the time? Do you guys kind of feed off of her energy? Um, I think we noticed it when she first came in um, in this summer. She is just fire. Um, and she's an incredible player, just an incredible presence on the floor. Um, and it starts with her defense. And, you know, obviously we feed off of that. Um, I tell her all the time, like, we feed off of you when, whenever you start. Um, and so, you know, she's unguardable. She's untouchable. Um, she's just a different player. Tyler Horka, Blue and Gold Illustrated. Maddie, you talked about the big three yesterday, and obviously you guys went off again today. But... <laughs> Going off of that last question, what Anna does, and then there was a, a bucket that Nat hit that kind of looked like it defeated the, the opposition in the first half. I think it put you guys up by 19, and that was the moment it was like, okay, this is what it's going to be. So how important are those little plays that Anna makes, that Nat makes, that, that kind of complement what you guys do as the big three? Absolutely. I think, like I said, it starts with one of us setting the tone. Um, but I think Nat, AD, um, KK coming in, Becky, I think everybody just feeds off of that um, when they see that we are locked in and we're focused and, um, you know, we're just we're there to play, we're there to compete. I think everybody just, um, they come to play too. And, you know, they set, this, they set the tone too. Nat, I think, had the first bucket of the game. So um, it comes from all of us. And then Hannah, uh, nine free throw attempts for you, six for Sony. You talked about the aggression a little bit, but I'm just curious how much better do you guys think you are when you are getting to the bucket and, and you're not only getting to the free throw line, but knocking down your free throws as well. Yeah, that's that's big when we're able to be, you know, kind of that, that aggressive. And it just makes us so much harder to guard because when we're driving, the defense has to start collapsing. And now we have shooters on the corners on the wings that are able to knock down those shots. And we've been doing a great job of, you know, knocking those threes down. And so it's just a matter of continuing to be aggressive and, you know, drawing the contact. And of course, you know, free throws can, you know, determine the game. So it's just getting there and making sure we're knocking them down. Maddie, you and Nat had a lot of success on that low post trap today, especially on the baseline. Mm -hmm. Was that something you were expecting to, you know, see a lot and have to defend a lot? And, you know, what do you make of your ability to kind of really keep on forcing, you know, mistakes by Ole Miss in that specific situation? Yeah, um, I think that's just trusting in our defensive tendencies. We knew that they were a driving team. Um, I think that's why we went zone a lot. And we knew that they were going to try and drive it, try to force baseline um, and force them into that trap. And so, yeah, we kind of uh, premeditated that. We knew they were going to do it. And um, Nat was there every time as I let her into it. So it was really good. Yeah. Matt Lucas, Kosher News. Hannah, I'm curious to know your your thoughts on your two-game debut in this tournament, freshman year. How, how do you feel? How do you evaluate your performance? Uh I don't know. I really don't evaluate my, my performance. I let everyone else kind of evaluate it. But I think I'm doing a, you know, a pretty decent job of especially just coming in as a freshman and kind of leading such a you know, phenomenal team. Um, and obviously, the energy from the fans is just different. So it's nothing like I ever expected, obviously, coming into this tournament. But I think we're doing a great job as a team of kind of handling it and just thank Poise, obviously, in our home court. You kind of previewed my next question. But Maddie, you've been a freshman before. You've made a tournament debut before. How do you evaluate Hannah's performance? Um, yeah, she's a game changer. I think her presence, like I said, on the floor is just different. And um, she sets the tone for us. Uh, like I said, she's just a phenomenal player, phenomenal defender, and nobody could guard her. Any other questions for our student athletes? All right, thank you very much. Feel thank free to you. rejoin yeah, your teammates. You and we'll go ahead and open it up to questions for head coach Neil Ivey. Thank you. Coach Eric Hansen with Inside ND Sports. The zone was really tough right out from the get go. Were you thinking you'd have to change defenses at some point, or are you just going to ride that until they found an answer for it? Right. Um, yeah, definitely. I knew we were going to come in with the zone because they're so athletic and it worked. It was working and I just stuck, stuck, st stood with it. And then um, Hannah, if I remember right, during the recruiting process, you went all the way to Hungary to watch her in a USA game and she wasn't committed, maybe hadn't even uh, taken her final visit. No. Um, 
when you were watching her over there, and it looked like it paid off for you, um, did you have any sense that she would be this ready as a freshman to come in if she ended up at Notre Dame? Yeah, I mean, she separated herself in the recruiting process. Um, for her, like Maddie mentioned, like she does so many things. Um, she plays with such aggressiveness, and her defense is so electrifying. She's dynamic on both sides of the ball. So I felt like every time I watched her and recruited her, that she was she separated herself from the recruiting process the entire time. So I'm not surprised. Obviously, her consistency as a freshman has been phenomenal. You know, being an AP All-American as a freshman is something that is incredible, and she's led – the, the, she's led the um, you know NCAA in steals. She's led the ACC in scoring and in steals. I mean, it's just phenomenal what she's doing and what she's done this season. So watching her, you know, I knew that she was going to be special here at Notre Dame, but she's exceeded my expectations because of the consistency in what she does. Last one for me, I think Nat was up to a career high in minutes today, and she had five assists, Yes, including that whip pass for the three. Um, you mentioned how poised you thought she was. What did you particularly like about her game today besides the poise? Yeah, I mean, so Nat does things that don't doesn't show up on the stat sheet. She doesn't have to score 20 points. She does a lot of things that, again, you know, kind of just the unsung hero. You know, her presence, um, just altering shots. You know, we, we're, we're small. We're small at times, so she does a lot, of, a lot of physicality inside. You know, they had a lot of bigs there, and I thought that she was just solid defensively. She understands the offense. She's very smart, um, and I think she does a great job of setting screens, posting up, and she just takes advantage of the opportunity. She had five assists and zero turnovers, which I think for a post is huge. So not only is she having, does she have defensive presence, she's making things happen on the offensive end, which I'm really proud of her for that because um, she's stepping up in a very, very big role, and she's succeeding. She's su succeeding, excuse me. JD Post, The Observer. Um, the, Hannah and Maddie touched on this a little bit, but I wanted to get your take on it. You know, talk about the players outside of your big three. You know, yes. what do they bring, be it on the stat sheet, off the stat sheet? You know, Anna, KK, Nat, you know, obviously not usually huge scorers. Yes. What do they do that make your team tick? We wouldn't be in this position without every single person on this team. We have six, I mean, so we have seven, eight healthy players. Everyone does something, and every night someone does something special for us. AD, her experience, her, her ability to shoot the three, she's so crafty, so smart. Um, she does a lot of little things. Um, she's unselfish, and um, you know she brings so much energy to our team. KK, again, she plays the one through four. Um, she had a little bit of foul trouble today, but I know I can count on her. She's high, she has a high IQ. She does whatever we ask, um, and she's unselfish. Becky as well. Obviously, Becky's going to get a little bit more minutes. She um, hasn't played as much, but when she comes in, she does what I need her to do. And uh, Sarah, she's just the, the crowd favorite. So everyone has a vital role, and at this point, you have to be great at your role, and everyone is – is great at their roles right now. And I'm really appreciative of everyone. No matter how many points they score, everyone is a valuable um, piece of this success. Just follow up on KK specifically. How yes. important has she been, you know, now without Kylie, your post steps a little weaker, to have a player like her that can, you know, guard four positions and use in a variety of ways? She, it's huge. I mean, I, I think of her as a Jackie Young um, in the past as far as being able to run the point, but also go to the four if I need her to. She's an all-purpose player, very versatile. And um, she does a lot for us. And every game, her, her position changes. And she's done her job very well. Tyler Horka, Blue and Gold Illustrated. Getting back to Hannah for a minute, Coach Yo was just in here, and she spoke highly of just, like, the will that she has, the yes. relentless, relentlessness. Uh, not saying that everyone else doesn't have that, but I'm curious, how much more of that does she have? And, like, how can you guys kind of channel that in a way that, that might advance you past the Sweet 16, which is, you know, where this road has stopped for you guys the last couple of years? Right. I think her will is what makes her special. And because of her will, I mean, she steps on the court, she has no fear. And so when you have a point guard that's playing with no fear, everyone is confident around her because of that. And I think hopefully that hope in the next 40 minutes, that helps us get a little bit further. Just having somebody with that type of presence, that type of swag, um, at this point, it's confidence that gets you to the next round. And she carries that confidence with her and is contagious. And I think that's going to really help us as we're playing, a, you know, Oregon State. You spoke of Ole Miss's athleticism and Hannah mentioned wanting to punch him in the mouth, 10-0 from the start. 
it really looked like you guys wanted to match athletic, <laughs> athleticism for athleticism at the yeah. beginning. So how big was the dribble drive game? And like she said, setting up all of that other stuff, because it seemed like the offense was flowing from the very beginning. And, and that was kind of the key to the, the whole 40 minutes. Right. I, I, for us, I, we, we're a pace team. We're, we're better in transition. We like to run. We like to play fast. So did Ole Miss. And so that was the goal. Get out and run, make them defend us. But we needed to get rebounds. So that was a big key for us is to rebound out of the zone. I thought the zone could try to contain them. And then if we got rebounds, we could run. And that's what happened right from the beginning. So they knew we were going to come out, or my, our goal was to come out very aggressive offensively to really, really push pace. And they did that. But I was really impressed with our defense. I thought our zone was, lo they were so locked in on the scout. They knew where the shooters were. They did a great job of rebounding, put us up to 19. And then I thought um, that just kind of gave us confidence throughout the game. Jeffrey Clark, Fighting Irish Wire. Coach, you probably don't like to give labels to your players, but we know Hannah can score and steal. We know Maddie can rebound and play in the post. But as far as our round game, I mean, is it even debatable that Sonia is up there? Absolutely. I mean, to be honest, I don't think we talk about her enough. Sonia Citron is unbelievable. She's so amazing. She's so poised. Um, she doesn't need the spotlight. It, she just is. She's a star. And I'm, I'm so grateful for her, her leadership, everything that she's brought the last three years, and especially right now, battling an injury early on. You know, go through what she went through adversity-wise and has, has changed our program when she came back. So I agree. She's one of the best guards in the country. And how good is it to be able to get Sarah into an NCAA yes. tournament game? That was awesome. You know, I, I just love Sarah. And she... First of all, she's really improved. She's like most improved to me on our team. She comes in every day. She works so hard. She She's in getting her shots up right after we beat Kent State. She was in the gym the next morning getting shots up on her own. I mean, she's just a phenomenal young woman. Um, she just does a lot for us that you don't really know as far as just practicing and making us better in practice. But she's also just a great, fantastic person. Any other questions for Coach Ivy? Hey, Coach John Bryce. Um, Ole Miss players and coach said that they expected a fight for both teams today, but they were the only team that got beat up. And I, I noticed you all were able to draw a foul on Ole Miss basically in the first 30 seconds of all four quarters, including a charge in there. Um, how important was it not only to set that tone from the outset, but to set it at the start of every quarter? That's a great stat. I didn't know that, but <laughs> the mindset was to attack. That was my mindset. You know, at this point, anything can happen in March. We want, I wanted to be the aggressor, and I was really proud of this group of having the confidence to do that. I think the ACC prepares us. You know, we've seen Louisville twice, NC State twice, like very athletic teams, very aggressive teams. So we were prepared um, to go against their athleticism, and I was really proud of um, the confidence that we came out with. And, and then in the third quarter, I believe you had seven assists on eight made baskets. How much does that maybe reflect everybody playing a role and, and maximizing the sum of the team? Yes, I mean, that's exactly what it is. You know, we, we love to share the ball. We're always working on reads, you know, seeing the person that's open. It's never a one-sided offense. You know, this ball m moves very um, smoothly. I give them a lot of freedom. But we've learned how to play with each other. And, and I'm really um, – I'm really – impressed by the improvement of our offense. And I, it changes, depends on the defense, but I love how we're playing and sharing the ball. Thank you. Any other questions? All right, thank you very thank much, you. Coach. Congratulations. Thank Best you. of luck in the Sweet 16. Thank